Okay, um, London Shoe Potters has been open since 19, 1993, if I'm not mistaken. So we've been, we've been coaching and training a very, very long time. Over 20 years we've been coaching MMA fighters. We also coach uh, professional boxers, uh, uh, heavyweight champion of the world. We've coached guys to have Olympic gold medals. We've coached uh, uh, wrestlers. Um, we've coached guys that, to make the uh, top end in grappling in ADCC. We've coached girl boxers. We've, our gym is a combat gym. It's based around all aspects of combat um, at the highest level. So the coaches in here, all of them have combat experience. Uh, it's, it's not a necessity, but it's always nice to, to have that. And all of them have coached fighters or athletes to a very, very high level. So Olympic level or national world level. Um, I think the difference uh, with London Shoe Fighters is uh, we believe in, uh, in hard training. Not that a lot of other gyms don't, but a lot of, a lot of guys come here and they don't spar in MMA glass or they've never sparred a certain way before. And I think, uh, to your question before, is if you're a race car driver and you're going to drive around the, the track, you're going to get in the race car and you're going to drive around it. So it's like sparring. I don't see a point, um, from an MMA point of view, I don't see a point in sparring in big gloves and pretending to hit people hard. We can't judge your fitness, we can't judge the impact, and we can't uh, judge the, uh, uh, um, uh, the flow of the fight without it being real. Obviously, you know, we're there to take care of each other, no one wants to get hurt, but you know, it's, uh, it's almost like having a bath. You can't, uh, you can't take a bath without getting wet. You can't have a fight without getting hit. This is part and parcel of it. But I think why we're so successful is that we do have the guys training very, very hard, uh, but smart. All of them, you know, all of them go into fights. We have a great record. I mean, you know, last year we had 70, 72, if I'm not mistaken, 72 fights and 68 wins. You know, yeah, and these are at UFC, Bellator level. These are in uh, in Japan. These are abroad in uh, in in Czech Republic, in in Spain, in uh, uh, in Russia, in uh, you know um, in Chechnya. We've fought all around the world, so we have a good record. And the guys all train really hard, and they all work really hard. It's a very very solid team. So I think the ethos, the ethos comes in the coaching. We don't have anything else to do. This is our job for 20 years. We don't. We're not painters, decorators, security builders. We, we're, we're 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 fighters and coaches, and this is our full time job. So it's not part time. It's a full time job. So I think maybe that changes things as well. We've been able to do this for the past 20 years as full time. Uh, so that that changes the game a bit. Yeah. When it, when it comes to, to combat, if uh, you say I win some, I lose some, you're in the wrong, uh, you're in the wrong, wrong business. It's absolutely personal here. Every fight is personal. There's no, it's not business, every fight is personal. We want to win every single fight. So we set our goals really high. Not one fighter ever comes in here and says I just want to have one fight or two. No, we want careers. We want guys understanding how to fight for a living. We want guys progressing to, to world championships, European championships, Olympic levels or UFCs or Bellator's, looking for belts. Uh, we've actually headlined every MMA show in the world. Main evented from Pride, Strike Force, Bellator, UFCs, uh, Risen. You know, we, we fought against every team there is on the planet. You know, uh, our gym is very, very well established and you know, we're respected around the world for that reason. And we treat everybody uh, uh, like they're the best fighters. Every time someone goes to fight, we're taking the guys being one of the best fight fighters in the world and we have to train against that. We never ever downplay combat. Uh, you know, a, a little kid, could, you know, a, a novice can knock out a pro if that professional is not ready for it. So everybody has to get treated with respect. So our goals and our accomplishments are because of how hard we train and what we put into it and the respect we give the sport. So we don't take anything uh, lightly here. If we lose a fight, we all lose. That's important.